Well, I, I think I recorded this before, but I can't find it. She can see that he's breathing. And other than the cut over his eyes, unhurt. Above him hangs a man who recognized in her brother a like soul. Blessed traveler and a certain shine. To see him like this would have been a great shock. And she has seen what such a shock can do. She, he's had such episodes before. In times of great stress, he slipped into what they call his dark wakings. Where he appears to be asleep, yet his eyes don't close. They move back and forth like they do when he's dreaming, and the only thing that can wake him is cold water. He's still holding the leather ball in his hand. She pulls him out from under the tree and onto the soft grass beyond. She draws water from the creek in her cupped hands and drips it onto his head until he rouses. He blinks several times before the spark of recognition returns to his eyes. Maggie, he says. I, I saw the tree. I know Jacob. I saw a man in it, a dead man. Cornelius Loop was dead in that tree yonder. It is so. I was hoping it wasn't real. I'm afraid it was. I saw them take him away. Why would they do that? He doesn't bother anyone. Something about chickens. They've been going missing of late, and Surrey Duran says she's seen him do it. She came with him and said so, pointed right at him and everything. That woman's a known liar. It's not like a lie ever stopped them before. Jacob sits up and his eyes roll back for a moment. Magdalena takes his hands and holds them. She pats them the way one might do in the cold to get the blood flowing. Jacob sees that hers are dirty and scabbed. Her dress is torn at the hem. What happened back at that schoolyard? Nothing. I saw to it that justice was done. You broke your promise. I promise not to save you. You've got to let me do things on my own. You had your chance, she says. Come on now, let's leave this place. They cross the creek and bushwhack through the shrubs, avoiding the deadfalls and find the trail home. Two miles downhill, a slow go and both of them are tired and sore. Magdalena's knees are scraped and bruised. So you've seen, she says. What? You know what? Maybe I do. You know. I didn't see what I came for. You shouldn't have gone. I'm going back. You aren't. You know I am. She looks at his eyes and sees that it's true. Yes, she says. Will you help me? All my chores for a week. A deal's a deal. And you owe me the same if I ever need it, of course. They walk in single file with Jacob behind, swatting at... What's he, what's he swatting at? Tall weeds with the end of a stick. Their shadows have gone long, and Jacob stretches out with his legs like, like a carnival tall man. Will he still be there tonight? He asks. Where else would he be? Won't someone cut him down and bury him? They usually wait till they fall down on their own. Then someone will bury him. That's the worst thing I ever saw. You shouldn't have seen it. A boy like you. Will they bury him? There's a place for them. A secret cemetery. You been there? I found it, yes. I want to see it. Not today. Did you lick Jude? He won't be back to school for a few days, I reckon. And the others? Smart enough to stand back and watch. Why, Maggie? Why'd you do that? You'd do the same for me. I wouldn't. 